Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today we are continuing our catch up sessions of all of the subscription boxes. This time it is Paper Gang's turn. We are going to open all this, the boxes that I haven't opened. And right now I have eight boxes to open. Now, if you don't know what Paper Gang is, it's a uh, stationary subscription box based out of the UK. And they recently made a change. So papergang.com switched over to odeer.com. And I'll link the website, you know, down below in the description. So I was paying $21.95 per box and that included the $6.95 shipping to get to the US. Um, I'm pretty sure if you're in the UK, shipping won't be as much, but because it's coming to the US, it's $6.95 for shipping for me. However, with the change over to odeer.com, pricing changed and now it's gonna be $19.90 per box. I don't know, maybe, you know, oh dear, you know, has more traffic and can afford better postage rates. I don't know, but I'm saving a little bit of money. So, um, and just a friendly reminder, if you haven't subscribed, if you could please do so, I'm trying to get those numbers up so that we can go ahead and start doing some giveaways, but I can't do that until we get to at least a thousand subscribers and we're a ways away. So please, please, please subscribe. Hit that like button, the no notification icon, so you can be alerted for whenever I post new content. And I have a lot of catching up of unboxings to do, so you're gonna get to see a lot more of these unboxings. And if you have any suggestions of what you would like to see or what you would like, what type of content you would like, just comment below. I'm pretty sure I've re replied to almost everybody. Um, but I wanna create that community. And in order to do that, we need to grow a little. So please, please, please consider subscribing. Okay, now to the fun part. Let's open up these babies because these are fun. I like them. Um, so this one is June of 2022. And that's this box. So let's open it up and see. And it has a little tab. So you just pull it. And this is what it looks like. I always liked, like, the paper they use to wrap the items, like this. I save it for scrapbooking stuff because it's really pretty. The colors have been really nice. Okay, I'm like, as always, they send you the little pamphlet. And they tell you what who the designer is for that box. So this is designed by Alice Oliver. That lady right there. Aw, look at the little frog with a little mushroom umbrella. And this month's Paper Gang box has been designed by our own in-house illustrator, Alice Oliver. And it tells you like how she came up with the design and you know, what kind of stuff she works with. And it's called the Just Keep Swimming Limited Edition box. It has a little coloring pages that and it shows like a little interview with with the designer so let's open her up i'm going to use my little handy dandy box cutter just to cut the sticker very lightly so that i, I don't cut the paper all right so here it is i opened it i cut it and this is what's inside. Yeah, let's take a look, see, look. Okay, so first things first. Oh my gosh, it's like they know me. Four sticker sheets. This is them. 
Okay, so it's literally, so two sheets of these stickers. So it looks like it can be labels, that type of thing, or markers. And then two sheets of this one right here. Again, the theme is just keep swimming. So it's gonna be, I'm assuming, all ocean sea, which is like the outside of the box is like that too. It has greeting card. Okay, two greeting cards with, these are neat. So these are two postcards. Wish you were here. And the back looks like this, so it's a postcard. Let's go on an adventure. So pretty. And again, postcard. And then greeting cards. There's this one with the whale and then this one. And this can be a birthday card. And they do come with the envelope. And this is what, have a well of a time. What that card looks like. So you write in there and the envelope. And then this is the birthday card. Isn't it pretty? And then you just write in there. I like having these around because you just never know when you need a card. So I always keep some cards around. That way you can just use them whenever. I'm so sorry, I have hiccups. I don't know what's going on. They also provided a gel pen. It says, paper gang on there, very light. Oh, it has a little protector right there. So that's cool. And we have a planner. So these, this is one's neat. I like this one. So you have your section for the notes, schedule, today's tasks, and doodles. And, it has, and it's pretty thick. Look at that. Has lots of sheets on there. And then we have, ooh, we have a stamp set. This is cool. Okay, so here are the stamps, stamp pads. And then here are the little stamps. That one says with love, they're wood. See, that's what that's gonna look like. This one's some seaweed. This one's a little fish. Aw, like that. That's what that is. This is a starfish. And is this the little puffer fish? I think it's a little puffer fish. See that? Oh, that's so cute. I'm trying out one of the stamps, like the with love. Ah, oh, I tried the pink one. I don't know if you can see it right there. So pretty. Let's try the seaweed and the purple ink. There it is, we're gonna try it. Look, it's a little puffer fish. I'm curious about the puffer fish. Do it right there. Yeah, he's cute. Starfish, let's try him out with the green ink. I'll say the ink's a little chalky, but I mean, maybe I should have opened it when it arrived, right? Like over half a year ago. Ink could be dried out. Yeah, the yellow one is dried out. I can't. Like you can't even get a little fish there and you can't even see it. And this doesn't seem to be like airtight. There's that. Let's move on because we have so many more, so many more to look at. I just love having like station, new stationary items. I do give things away to, you know, my sister or my niece and nephew and my, and I repeat, my sister does work in the school district. So if there's things that I know they can use, then I'll just send them her way. Moving on. 
So this came in July, I believe. This one. Okay, so this is what that looks like in the package. And again, the little pamphlet. This box is called On The Go. Okay, so this one doesn't say the designer. However, it does say that um, they're trying something new. And this one is called On The Go because you're supposed to be able to take a bunch of these items with you if you wanted to. Because they're saying, you know, they've always sent boxes like for stationery that is, you know, kind of more for the home or the office. And this is supposed to be more that you can take with you. So we'll see. Let's open it up. And again, this beautiful paper that they use to wrap things. I will save that. So this is how this box comes. And it's supposed to be that everything I say you can take on the go. So the first thing that I see is the little A6 magnetic notebook. So it's like this. There's a little flap that is magnetized. And like the inside matches the box. And you have all the sheets of paper. So that's cute. A four color, ooh, this is nice, it's metal. Four color multi-pen. So there's red, there's green, there's gray, maybe that's supposed to be black. And then there's blue. Then the way you work is you just press it down, the tip comes up, and then you wanna you know, put the little tip away, you just press on any other one like halfway down, and it goes away. But this is metal that that's cute um then you have your dual tip highlighter like this so this is more like a fine tip right there and then this is like slanted so you can see that and then they send you just a pencil you need to sharpen it with a gold end, and it's paper gang. Just a regular yellow pencil. And because that pencil doesn't have an eraser, they send you a block eraser. Pretty hefty. And there is a sticky notebook, sticky pads. Okay, yeah. It's a to-do list, and it's sticky. So that's nice. I like having these on the fridge. So this one doesn't have anything in the back. So I'll probably like glue a magnet and I can stick it on my fridge because I love being able to do the shopping list. And this is perfect because I can just check off. I know I have my notes on my phone too that I can use, but sometimes it's just so much practical on just a paper. I know, I know old school. And then they send this elastic pen holder that they say you're supposed to be able to put around the little notebook and then put all of your stuff that they sent you, the writing utensils, in here. And then it looks like that. So it's all together. This area, they should have left it open so you can put your eraser, right? Because if you have your pencil, you're gonna need an eraser. Like I always need to erase. And just FYI, I did check and you can still purchase most of these boxes. I think there's only one or two that are out of stock already. So if you like any of them, just make sure to go check out the Oh Dear website and you can purchase them at that time. Next one, Eden, it says Eden Project. Looks like it was delivered in August, so we'll see. And this is what this one looks like inside. When you open it, here's the little pamphlet and it's the name of this box is Theater of Plants. And it's in collaboration with Eden Project. It is designed by Siri Vaisonen. 
in collaboration with the Eden Project. It tells you about the charity and how you can help the planet. So has all of this information and this is the artist. So you can see her name and how bad I butchered her name. I am so sorry. And that's what that looks like. And again, you can cut these out and use them for journaling and stuff like that. Like all of those pictures. That's what I do. And it's fun. And this is what that looks like. I like the colors. So it looks like we have some greeting cards. Again, love, love this. And I love the paper. So it seems like it's made from recycled paper. <gasps> Are cute shut the front door so these are actually 3d illustrated greeting cards <gasps> look at that so it looks like you can expand them when you get them and it has the two like you could write on the back apparently and you can expand them and look how oh, cute is that so there's that one is the other one the same it's a different image see but again you expand them and it gives them that 3d vibe how cool is this? I love this concept. I absolutely love it. And again, you write in the back. Such a cute original way to do greeting cards. And it looks like this is an artist print. Yes. I like it when they include stuff like this because I like to frame stuff. I have several things that I need to frame though. I have a, quite a few prints that I need to find good frames for. They give you an artist print and it's good, thick, like a nice structured paper. This would look amazing in a nice frame for artwork. You know, the ones that they like float a little bit kind of like a shadow box but not a box it's like an actual frame like you see in the galleries this will look so pretty we have a grower's journal apparently has the same print as one of the greeting cards look how beauty beauty beautiful it is and let's see why is it a grower's journal and how it belongs to Perfect for the seeds I started. Okay, so it's like this. And you put the plant name, you can put photos, you can put the type, the soil type, the care level, sunlight, water, feeding, temperature, humidity, location, like all of those things are in here. And the month planted and growth charts so you can put the date and how much it's grown and then your notes this is so neat and they gave us a recycled ballpoint pen how cute that is oh i think it's back it's upside down there you go eden project paper gang and this is paper like everything around this is paper the cap is paper but it's you know a good pen I bet you it's like don't get this wet because then you have a you have a mess but still and then we have a recycled news print pencil see that and there you have it sharpened thank you for sharpening things and sending them already ready to use but yeah recycled so that was everything in this box. I really, really love this box. The originality, the uniqueness of the products that they sent in this one. 
fantastic. Bravo. Eden Project. You curated a nice box. I would say if this box is still available, get this box. All right, next one is this one. And it looks like this got to me in October, but in the very, very beginning of October. So they might have sent it in September. And I got it here in October. So let's open this up. I really like, like the colors. And this is what it looks like inside. Love this olive green and pink and this combination of colors is fabulous. Right up my alley. And this is the Changing Seasons box, which makes sense because we would have received it or I would have received it in October. Designer for this box is Rebecca Zwangzig. Here she is. That's her name. Again, I'm so sorry if I mispronounced it. Again, it tells you a little bit of an interview with the designer. So yeah, this is, this is it. This one was a smaller little pamphlet. And again, beautiful little paper. That is such a pretty color. Some of these boxes, the paper, like it's pretty torn up. I can still salvage a good part of it, but I'm just laying on no. But look how pretty that is. This color scheme is fantastic. I absolutely love it. Okay, first thing we have is a planner. Again, look how pretty these colors are. And that's the inside. This is what your the inside of your planner would look like. So neat. And it does have the little, you know, to mark the bookmark. Just to mark that. And at the very end, I noticed it has the month view. But it only has like one, two, three, four months worth. Hmm. Greeting cards. Uh, you, they include two greeting cards. And again, love me some greeting cards, especially if they're like different, unique, not something you can go to the store and get like Hallmark type of cards. Or even the Dollar Tree has really good selection of cards. I will say if you need greeting cards, if you need a birthday card, if you need something that you don't have any at home, go to the Dollar Tree two for a dollar or a dollar. It's, it's a good deal. Look at these happiest of days. Blank inside comes with this little envelope and then you just write in the white space. Pretty and it includes a birthday card. I like that, that they include a blank one and like a birthday one. And it has the square artist print. And this one's a squared version. So pretty. And the last thing is 10 meters of washi tape. And it has copper. I don't know if you can see that. See, it's like metallic copper. pretty. That's a nice washi tape. So yeah, those were the items that came in this box. I love the colors, the design of this. This and the Eden Project one, design-wise, have been my favorite so far. Next box, please, um, is one that I, when I saw, I was so excited. Look at this. This one came in October, like the end of October. So I'm hoping it's like witchy Halloween type of stuff. But I don't know, like does the UK celebrate that? I, I don't know. Is that a dumb question? And of course it's purple on the inside. 
best combination with the colors like this, purple and black, I, I agree. Here is the little paper and the box theme is celestial power. Makes sense, makes sense. And the designer of this box is Vicki Lester. That's her. Good job, Vicki. I love this. It shows her creating the box. So pretty neat. That's that box. See how bad the paper tore on the sides? So weird. All right. So the first thing I see is a notebook. There is so much out there for, for you. Look how pretty is so nice. Oh, the inside. This notebook belongs to. Look how pretty. I like this. And it's just like a regular little notebook with the grid, tiny grid print and little stars at the tips, the corners. Very handy for journaling. There is a postcard, a holographic finish postcard. And again, it says there is so much out there for you. See that? This is holographic. In the back, you can see postcard. Ooh, then they included a pen. It's a metal pen. Such a cool color. And then they also included a pen. I think that's what it might have caused a lot of the damage in the box because it's supposed to be attached to this little card. That's the pin. Do what you love, it says. Like that. But see it, the little, that little part bent. There's the little cover that's supposed to go on there, but it bent. I mean, I can fix it, but I think this is why this box was so torn up because this came loose and this was moving around in there and tearing up the box. I don't wanna poke myself either. I'll have to do this when I have the right tools. It's a cute pin. Just wish it hadn't bent. And that's it, that's on this box. Okay, this one did not have a lot. It literally just had a notebook, the postcard, the jacked up pin, and the pen. All right, paper gang. I'm starting to go as least possible things as you can. I was very hopeful for this box because it was, you know, the opportunity for like Halloween, that type of, you know, that time of year and to like really put something good in there. The little notebook's cute. I, I like that one and it's solid. Like it's not a soft cover, it's a hard cover and the design's pretty but I kind of feel like they chipped us on the number of things in there. All right, next box. This one came in November. It says Paper Game by Rob Ryan. So another collaboration. I like the little theme there, the little design. And this is what's inside. Meaning, this is meaning up there. This is a little paper right there. And this is called a winter romance. That's the box. And this is Rob Ryan. It shows like it's part of the process and that type of stuff. And there's that box. That's what comes in. Let's see what actually is in here. So we have a uh, this is a laser cut print. Look at that. So I'm gonna put this in the back so you can see it. It's the image from the front from the box. But all of this is laser cut. This isn't this is very nice. I'll definitely find an, an, again a nice frame to put it in. And it looks like we have a greeting card too. So here's the envelope, right? And normally they put the envelope in here like this. Take it out. Happy to just be together. And it's all 
laser cut. Look how pretty. Man, Paper Yang, if you just did cards, it would be huge, huge, huge. And we have another notepad. So here's this one. It's, this one's just like the a print. It's not laser cut, which is good because if you're using your notepad and obviously you're going to be using, you know, opening and all that often, you, you probably don't want the laser cut here because it's going to get all jacked up. Um, but here it is. And it's literally a notepad. So you can take notes and tear off the sheets. Beautiful design. Look at this. It's really, really good. And there's like a slight watermark in there. This is pretty. I, I really like this. Last thing is a fine liner pen. It's very generic, right? Like just a fine, fine point pen. But there's like nothing on it. Oh, and it says there's gift wrap. Check underneath the wrap of your box for the gift wrap. Oh, shut up. They included gift wrap paper. Guys. See, this is what I mean by I like unique things. We travel on through the fog and cloud, find our way just by the smell and feel of the air following our hearts. And then happy just to be together. We don't know we're going, where we're going, but it will be exactly where we want to be. So beautiful. Like this could even be a poster, right? This one was a better box, like content wise, much better in the design. Although this pen, you could do better, come on. Do any of you get this box or anything similar or any other ones you would recommend that maybe are in the States? I like unique things though. So keep that in mind. Like if you know of any other ones that I should be looking at and Hey, maybe they're cheaper because they're in the States or yeah, maybe, maybe the, whatever suggestions you have are maybe better in content, you know, more unique. Again, I'm trying to keep it at 20 bucks or less. Less is better because a lot of this is adding up. So we'll see how many more I continue getting. Um, so this was in sent to me in December, this box. And it says, this box was designed by Jamie Mitchell. Oh, see, this makes sense. Although the outside doesn't make sense that it's December, this makes sense that it's December. It says, he sees you when you're sleeping. Merry Christmas. That's a really creepy Santa kid situation going on, right? It's not just me. Like, look how scared he is. Too. So it comes with a Christmas gift guide, which, you know, oopsie, too late. Again, this is that. Let's open it up and see what is inside. Okay. When I opened it, this was the first thing I saw. Is he not cute? We have two greeting cards in here. Fabulous little guy with his cap with an envelope and it's blank inside. And look at this other handsome fella. He's a cutie. Blank envelope, it's in there. And then it looks like we have stickers for the planner. So this is, these are the stickers, days of the week. Um, some just blank ones over here different things to do 
and then here's more days of the week and different things that reminders stuff like that so each one of those has two sheets here is a pen there you go oh it's a pencil yeah it's a pencil see that cool yeah i like i like those pencils and then we have this notebook looking thing which is a calendar with cute little animals oh i need to put this up <laughs> this is neat march oh <gasps> april i need to put this up in my office oh <laughs> July, August, September. <laughs> Is this not every teenager you've ever met? <laughs> October, November, and a little penguin December great models. I, I really like this calendar. Definitely. I'm going to put it up in my office. And that's it for this box. It was, so that makes sense that they sent the stickers because they send you a calendar. So you can use the stickers on your calendar for reminders and just, you know, to remember, remember things or mark occasions and stuff like that. So I really like the design of that one. And the last box is from January. Shipped out on the 9th of January. So I probably got it like mid-January. Um, so yeah, pretty sure I should be getting another box soon. Which was supposed to be February's box. Oh, and this is, this is a January box that I got. That I received. And it's Paper Gang by Otto Aram. This is how it looks inside. Let's open it up. This feels like chunkier. Like there's more, either more stuff or thicker stuff in here. But again, because of that, the paper got so messed up. So this is that. Look how messed up that paper looks. So it looks like they're not sending us the little pamphlet that tells us about the box anymore. What? I like I liked having that to know a little bit more about the designer. Okay. So they sent us sticky pads. Like that. Those. A good set. A good, a good amount. Another planner. Here it is. And again, it has that belongs to and this is a different type of planner because it just has like notes and you look over here it has the date the objectives notes and that's how this planner is so it's not so much like you know the to-do lists and all that kind of stuff it's more like free form so this would actually be good for bullet journaling i think and then we do have another print, but it got messed up by these clips. So this is a print, but if you see, it's all messed up up here and messed up down here and down here because they sent us these colorful metal clips but they didn't wrap these in anything. And you can see where the color rubbed off. They're great, they're metal, I like them, but they just messed up the print. And then a pen, a click pen. And that is all. Okay, so what are your thoughts? 
Um, me personally, I think I really loved two of the boxes. The design, the things we got. I am really contemplating um, canceling this one because even though like it's going down in price, so it's going to be like less than $20, the amount of items, the quantity we're getting is not so exciting. I think the first box I got, which was like maybe the Lunar New Year, Chinese New Year type of box, that one was really cool. I like that one. It even had scissors. It had, you know, a lot more things. I don't know. You tell me what your thoughts are. Would you consider getting the box now that you've seen like eight months worth of them? Do you know of any other like better stationary subscription box? Because if you do, please share. Let me know. You know, comment below. Tell me which ones are really good with you know when you compare the price and the items what drew me to this box was that it said it was curated and designed specifically for you know that box and all the items were that way but it's like now they're not even telling you who the designer is they don't include the pamphlet they don't tell you the story anymore and it looked, to me I'm getting less and less really neat items. So I don't know if it's worth the money. Maybe I'll just go look for another subscription box. <laughs> you let me know what your thoughts are. And again, a lot, I would appreciate suggestions of any other things that are out there that I might not have heard of. So, but as always, thank you, thank you, thank you for sticking around to the end. I completely and totally appreciate all of y'all's support. I've been having fun with, you know, replying to everyone that's, you know, commented and let me know like what products you've tried and your suggestions. It's, it's fun. And that's why I started this channel just to have fun, you know, build a sense of community, community and, and just get to know each other. So once again, thank you so much. Appreciate you. And like always, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.